Hey, Math 3, this video is um, for Wednesday, November 4th. Um, we are, where well, this video is gonna go over multiplying, dividing, scavenger, hunt, just the directions really quickly. Um, yesterday, which I forgot to send you, but I'm gonna, you're gonna get it very shortly. Um, I, we went over 3-3 in your, 3-3 and 3-4 in your Savvis playlist. 3-3, I believe, was multiplying and dividing. 3-4, as you can see, is on the back of this page, was um, adding and subtracting. So I'm only going to send you 3-3. Uh, we went over all of this yesterday, so I'm not going to go over um, what this is. This is the work neatly written out that we, you know, wrote on the screen um, yesterday. All right, so, but these are the um, skills that you're gonna use on your um, scavenger hunt. So first things first, I sent you the scavenger hunt. It should open up just like this. All right, so it's gonna force you to make a copy. And you are going to change this part and say, put your name and then just leave the rest of that. Okay, hopefully you see this bright yellow down here. These are the directions, but hopefully you kind of get the hang of what this activity is about by now. We've done it a few times with different um, units. Uh, we just did one, I think a couple weeks ago or a week ago or so, anyway. This is all about multiplying and dividing. So there's no adding and subtracting here. Um, the directions say solve the problem on slide two or station A right here and look for the answer on another slide. When you find the answer, rearrange the slides, meaning to drag and drop so that your answer is under the problem you just solved. So I wrote it this way because you might decide that station A is too hard for you. Let's say you wanna go to problem C first. Let's say you start with problem C first. You can go ahead and put C by dragging and dropping. You know, I can move it anywhere I want, but you can drag it and drop whichever problem you want to be first. It doesn't matter, all right? So if you say, dang, I don't know how to do uh, A, I don't know how to do B, but I can do C. And you go ahead and do C, find your answer. And then when you find the answer, just make sure that that um, slide is underneath the problem. So whatever your answer for C was, let's say you think the answer to C is A, then you're gonna put A, you're gonna leave A there. Okay, when you have correctly solved all 10 problems, you will end, you will end with the station you started with. So this only works if you solve all 10 of them correctly. So if you make one mistake, you're not gonna be able to get back to the problem that you started with. Let me put these back in order. Well, this is my copy, so it doesn't matter. You're gonna make your own copy. All right, so um, for example, problem, let's see. Let's say you get down here to um, get an easy one. Here's an easy one, station J. Okay, if you're working this out, working this out on your own paper. On your paper, you say, okay, this is division, so this is chicken, right? Keep change flip chicken. All right, so you keep the first thing Three is just three over one. Change division to multiplication. Flip that second fraction so that is x over x plus one instead of the other way around. And now you're going to multiply, right? So remember, multiplication happens straight across. OK, 
Okay, one times this. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that I'm going to look for this thing. I'm gonna look for this right here, okay? So it's not on the answer to, and this is J, let's remember which one this is. I'm working out problem J. J is gonna go to what? All right, so. Trying to go through this presentation. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for the answer. That's close, but not it. I need three X over it. There it is. Okay, so J goes to H. Okay, well, what does that mean? That means that what you need to turn in, and this is gonna be true for everybody because I actually worked that out, okay? What this means is that J goes to H. J needs to be above H, okay? I don't care where it is in your playlist, wherever it is, if you start with problem J, then H better come next, okay? Now you're gonna work out this problem on H and look for the answer and put where, whatever its answer is after H, okay? So I'm gonna be looking to see that these are in the right order and it doesn't matter which one you start with, um, there's, it's still gonna be the same order, right? Okay, so. There's that, I'm gonna, and I forgot to upload yesterday's video, I'm so sorry guys. All of that is coming to you right now. <laughs>